what's up outdoor movement we are uh out in the middle of the james river this morning and when i say the middle of the james river i'm not exaggerating we are uh chilling on the jamestown ferry and uh we are going to be taking this puppy over to surrey to uh captain sweetwater's uh hunt club see if we can go get on some wintertime cottontails so taking jackson on his first rabbit hunt He's got his hot cocoa. He's got his warm clothes. If you uh, need to get some warm clothes for your kid, check out our video we just did not that long ago on uh, good warm gear for your kids. Today it's gonna be important because it's 25 degrees out. So uh, stick around, stay tuned, hit that subscribe button. We're gonna have a good time today. See if we can't shoot some rabbits. Tip number one of the trip so far. Uh, we're not even there yet. Jackson's already breaking into our lunchtime Cheetos. Pack plenty of snacks. Plenty of snacks. All right, so we just all met up and uh, we got everybody together. We got a pack of screaming beagles. And uh, Jackson's looking pretty excited. He's sitting on the edge of his seat. Look at that. No seat belts required on Hunt Club roads. But uh, we're gonna head back here to a cut over, cut these beagles loose, see what we can do. We made it, Captain Will. Here we are <laughs> on a rabbit hunt. First Saturday in January after deer season. See if we can't put some cottontails down. Yeah. What's your game plan? Oh, just walk around with them, try and kick up a rabbit. If they don't jump one, it's kind of our job to help kick, them kick brush piles and try and jump one. I can do that. I can do that. No doubt. I'm gonna, get them over, I'm gonna get them right over in here. Okay. So the idea is pretty simple. We walk along, kick around through the briars, let yeah. the beagles do their job, and hopefully one of us kicks up a rabbit. Hang them up. Watch out for briars. You can stay on the road if you want, Jackson. Stay with Harold over there. Now what you can't really see from this video, but any rabbit hunter will tell you, is I'm up to my elbows in really thick briars right now, busting through this cutover. This is a great time to mention, if you're gonna be doing this, make sure you got some clothes that are darn near briar proof. Find him, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the name of the game is to pretty much stomp through any briars and brush piles you can find as the dogs trail along with you and hopefully you kick up a rabbit and they'll do the rest of the work for you. Yeah. Remember, don't shoot unless you see the rabbit and you know there's nobody behind them. After a little bit of kicking around, the dogs light off. These beagles are doing work. Look at them little guys. I do have to say that even if this was an unsuccessful hunt, just a day listening to beagles run rabbits is just a great time. All right. So this is a piece of fat pine, heart pine, from that stump right here. Hey, we'll walk on over here, check it out. It's hard as a rock. I kick this piece off, and I like to put this in my camouflage tote with all my camo pre-season, like bow and black powder camouflage clothing. It smells. Smell it, Jackson. What do you think that, that smells like? Lavender? No, no it smells like turpentine. Or smells like a pine tree yeah your clothes will smell just like that and you don't have to use as much cover scent absolutely and it's also the best fire starter in the world it is a little sliver of that will start a fire when it's wet even if it's wet you can light it on fire heart burns like a match now for this much heart pine i bet that tree originally was you couldn't even put your hands around it it was a huge pine tree yeah and they just hard they 
the timber companies cut them down before they get to that age anymore so you don't really have it anymore you don't you don't hardly see them anymore all right so i did not get it on camera but i did get the rabbit we're gonna eat good tonight so pretty cool these rabbit dogs are actually trained if you show them the rabbit let them smell it yeah, they'll know that that's the rabbit they were they chasing and they won't jump back on their old trail again that one didn't stand a chance bro i already had the gun up waiting for something to come down that lane as soon as i saw him bound out Pagow! all right i want to get these dogs coming up here yeah i got the camera running good job good get good job dogs Dead rabbit, dead rabbit. Good pup. Good job, pups. Good pup. Yeah. Dead rabbit. Dead rabbit. Dead rabbit. All right, on the board. Looks like we're eating dark meat tonight. Yes, sir. <laughs> Jackson said he ain't never had rabbit, so well, we'll try. Parboil it and batter it, fry it, put it over. I was, I was gonna batter and fry it with gravy. I make a gravy. Yep. I like to put it in a. Uh, big deep pan with chopped up carrots potatoes onions celery i'm gonna i'm gonna fry it in uh duck fat yeah lay it fry it over that and pour gravy all over it cover it in aluminum foil in the oven 350 degrees for another 25 minutes <laughs> that's good stuff man after a bit while longer of some pretty tough hunting we decided to call it a day and make our way back to the truck while we might be exhausted from busting briars all day we couldn't have had more fun on a 25 degree day in January. Hats off to Mark and his pack of beagles though, because these dogs ran their tail off and put on some great chases. No, you got All right, so we are here uh, wrapping up for the day. Captain Will, thanks for having us, buddy. Yes, sir. <laughs> Jackson, did you have a good time? Yes, I had an awesome time. Awesome time. I think you just like eating Swedish fish all day. Yeah. Ended up with three uh, three cottontails for the day. And we're going to take these things home and fry them up in some duck fat. And a soda. And a soda.